I'm indoors. Mm -hmm. What is this place? It's a library. Mm -hmm. It's so, bright. Very good. So the more you talk, the more information will come to you. So I want you to just describe what this library looks like. There's books everywhere. Mm -hmm. And it goes as far up as I could even see. And it's just packed with all kinds of books, different colors. All the books are different colors. Mm -hmm. And there's ladders that are going straight up that can take you to any book that you want. And they're glowing. Different books are glowing. Mm -hmm. So as you look at these books, notice which one stands out to you. That's the one way up there. Mm -hmm. I have to climb up to get it. Very good. So your body is different here, and it's going to be effortless for you. See how effortless it is to climb that ladder. It's like sliding up the ladder. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm floating up the ladder. Beautiful. And as you're floating, notice what you look like. Notice your arms, your body. I'm glowing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I can see through my arms. Mm -hmm. But glowing. Wonderful. So tell me when you get to the book. I'm there. Wonderful. So do you open the book there or is there a place in which you go to read this book? There's a place to go to. Very good. So tell me all about that. How do you get there? I can get there by floating. Mm -hmm. I just float over. Wonderful. So what is, this, what is this place that you're going to? It's like a floating table in the middle of the room. Mm-hmm. And you can sit there. Very good. Are you alone? No, there's other there's other beings there. Mm-hmm. These other beings, are they associated with you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Who are they? Connect with them mind to mind. You'll recognize them. Mm-hmm. That's my mom. Mm -hmm. I'm with my mom. What does she tell you? She loves me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> she says welcome. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting with her. Wonderful. <laughs> so as you're sitting with mom, mom now has a different body. A different yes. awareness. Tell me how she feels compared to when she had a body. Oh, she feels warm mm -hmm. and so loving, just so shining of love. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And you said there were other beings there. Who are they? My dad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my dad is there. Connect with your dad. What does he tell you? I've missed you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. You look so good. <sighs> we love you. Wonderful. Uh. <sighs> Anybody else there with you? My nanny. Mm -hmm. What does nanny tell you? She's giggling. <laughs> She's laughing. How does that make you feel? I'm beautiful. Mm -hmm. They're still there. Yes. So your whole family has come to meet you in this place. Yes, they have. Mm hmm. So this book must be very important that they're all there to support you. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
So look around and see if there's anybody there that is not of your family. There's other people there. I don't know them. Mm -hmm. So you can commit, connect with them telepathically. What is the importance of them being there today? To help guide me. Wonderful. So these are guides. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. So let's see. I'd like for you to just feel yourself in the comfort of your family and your guides. And let's see what that book looks like. It's, it's glowing. Mm -hmm. And it's warm. Yes. Does it look like a normal book besides the glowing? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how would you open this book? I would just open the front part of it. Mm -hmm. So let's open it and see what's on the inside. Okay. So I open it. Mm -hmm. All I see is glowing white. Mm -hmm. I see glowing white. So I'd like for you to get closer to that white. Imagine yourself if you were being drawn to that. What happens as you get closer and closer to that book? I get in fear. Mm -hmm. I'm in fear of the book. Okay. So you could ask your guides, what's the importance of facing this fear today? What is the importance of facing this fear today? Mm -hmm. I need to step into the void. Mm -hmm. What is the void? I don't know what the void is. I don't understand the void. So just grab onto your parents' hands. and allow them to go with you today. They know where it is. What do they tell you? They tell me I need not be afraid. Mm -hmm. That I need to go. That this you is the... This is where I need to be. Wonderful. Do you trust them? Oh, yes. Wonderful. So your soul will know exactly how to go into that void. Just tell me how you do it. I just walk into the void. Mm-hmm. I just walk there. Wonderful. What happens? Everything is bright. Everything is overwhelmingly bright. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's so enveloping. Mm -hmm. What emotion is connected with that white? Love. Mm -hmm. It's all love. <sighs> it's all love. It's just piercing my body. Bask in that love now. Bask in it. You are worthy of this love. That is the fear. Mm -hmm. The fear is I feel not worthy. Mm -hmm. There's so much of it. This is the love I felt before. Yes. It was so hard for me to come back. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to come back, but I knew I had to. I had to leave this love and I didn't want to step into it because I know I don't want to go back. Mm -hmm. So now that you're in that light, you can connect with that source of that light, with source of that love. And you can ask at this time, what is the purpose of having left this incredible love to go live that life? on earth. I 
I had to go. I had to go. Mm -hmm. There was too much I had to do. So as was... you are remembering, remember what are the things that you had to do on earth? I had to help bring light mm -hmm. into the earth. I had to open the portals and open the doors in order for the light to come through and the darkness to be gone. Is Janice doing that? Yes. Mm -hmm. But she, she, feels, she feels that some people aren't seeing that light fast enough. Oh, they're seeing the light. They're just afraid of it. Mm -hmm. They're just afraid of it because it's so overwhelming, just as it is for her to step into the void. Mm -hmm. It is so overwhelming. People don't understand. But it's, she's doing what she needs to do. Mm -hmm. She goes at night. She goes at night and she opens all the portals. She floats mm -hmm. Where throughout are these? the earth. They're, are they in any particular place, these portals? Oh, yes. She's close to Mount Shasta mm -hmm. because she goes there all the time. What There's the, a big portal there. What's the importance of that portal at Mount Shasta? It is... It is the most visited. Mm -hmm. It has to stay open. Yes. Does it get closed? They try to close it. Mm -hmm. But we stand guard. Who are the ones that are closing the portals? The ones that are over the earth trying to keep the earth dark. Mm -hmm. They're trying to keep the portals closed and they're trying very hard now. It takes much energy to keep them open. When Jenny's opens a portal, does that affect the people that live near the portal? Yes. How does that affect them? It shivers them with light. Mm -hmm. It brings light. People are live near the portal. They need more light. They need more light. Mm -hmm. Is there any type of technology that's used to open these portals? Or is it just intention? It's intention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she was directed at one time to be in this mountain area. Yes. And it's happening now, but she doesn't feel like anything is happening there. Why was she, cho why, why was she told to go to this area? the purpose of that this is her area mm -hmm. this is the area that she's been assigned to mm -hmm. this is the area where her energy connects in a way that no other can connect this is the energy place for her this is her portal okay so it's like her domain yes it her is spiritual domain mm -hmm. yes Mm -hmm. And only she can open it. Yes. Okay. But there's others that stand guard. Mm -hmm. Who are these others? They are her guides as well. Mm -hmm. Are they in human form? No. No. So when she sleeps at night, she is actually opening portals as her guides are watching her do this? Absolutely. So she's very powerful, isn't she? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, right now she feels that she is off course. She is not off course. Mm -hmm. She's exactly where she needs to be. Okay. And what about the, what she does for a living? Because she's torn in that she's doing a normal job, but she's also doing spiritual work. She does spiritual work at night and during the day. Mm -hmm. She meets up with people that are working with her at night when she sleeps yes okay so she has two jobs she does <laughs> mm -hmm. 
She, she works all the time. She works all the time. So it doesn't really matter what she does to make money to work for a living because at night is when her spiritual work is. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me more about this opening of portals? How does she do that? She just sets her intention. And she, she would, she floats. Mm -hmm. She floats all around, all around Mount Shasta, all around the portals that are all through out there. Mm -hmm. She meets up with others. Others who are also doing the same work? Yes. Mm -hmm. So does she ever encounter the dark ones that close the portals? Yes. Can you tell me about that? Who are they? they they are the Archons. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what the, the Archons are? They are the dark entities. Mm -hmm. They keep trying to come through. The unfortunate part is, is they went ahead and opened up more portals recently that are bringing more Archons through. They're covering the earth and trying to blanket it with darkness. Mm -hmm. She's keeping it open so that the darkness will flee. So as they open up these portals, these dark portals, how does that affect the people on Earth? It's making them torn. Mm. You know, some people are, it's dividing people. Yes. It's dividing the people is what it's doing. It's keeping the people suppressed and not being able to reach their actual abilities. Their abilities are far from where they are. It's getting harder and harder for them to reach where the light is mm -hmm. and their abilities. That is the purpose of the Archons. They're coming and blanketing the earth and with a divider that is so thick that they cannot reach the light. Mm. So can you give me an example of when someone has been influenced by one of these Archons? What kind of division? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They're dark. They keep in the 3D. When they are suppressed, they are keeping in a place of, of being controlled. They're being controlled. They are doing the next thing they are told to do. Instead of breaking free and doing what they are come here to do. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like they've turned robotic. They're not thinking. Right. They mm -hmm. are not in touch. Mm -hmm. They are not in touch with the reality of their true essence and their true being. Yes. They, they need to meditate and they need to, they need to draw to their true source. They need to mainline with the source. And the only way that they can do that is through their own selves through meditation and they will not be suppressed like that. Mm -hmm. So when one is suppressed or we allow others to suppress us, what does that do to us spiritually? It darkens our spirit. Mm. We cannot float. We are put into like a capsule yes. encapsulated yes and when we're encapsulated we cannot move and that is what they try to do to me mm -hmm. and i will not allow that they try to encapsulate me and i won't allow that to ever happen mm -hmm. i have to be there for others and break them free yes. that is my job mm -hmm. here on earth it is so will this job change as more people awaken. Yes, Can I will be guiding them to the light. Okay. I will be creating a source place for them to be safe. So I will be creating the place for them to come that will be safe and encapsulated in light. Mm -hmm. Good. Is this where, is this why she was told to get that, those acreages? Yes. That land. So Yes, it will be sacred land. Okay, very good. Very good. So what about health and healing? Is that part of it? Oh, of course. 
Mm -hmm. Janice is very, very intuitive when it comes to healing. She's healed many and she has lots of, of ability in that area. Mm -hmm. She heals with light. Okay. She knows how to heal with light. Mm -hmm. Good. So how sh will she be using that in the future, this healing? Let's be healing and encapsulating people. Okay. Un encapsulating and un deprogramming. There's a lot of people who are now being programmed due to the circumstances on Earth. Absolutely. Has Janice decided to take part of that on her spiritual journey? She's been deprogramming. Mm -hmm. She has been working on deprogramming. And, you know, there's so much they're doing to the human people. There is so much. And Janice has been working tirelessly at night and during the day. Good. Now you talked about encapsulating, and it seems like that's what they've done to the entire earth. They've encapsulated people for long periods of time Absolutely. where they haven't had access to each other. How is that affecting them spiritually? They're getting more encapsulated within themselves, not being able to mainline with the source. Mm -hmm. Mainlining with the source is what they need to do. And the only way that they can do that is through each other, unity, and being able to connect. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to encapsulate us to a place of keeping us from not being able to connect in any way, shape, or form. Therefore, the, the entities that they've let in that are keeping all darkness that is such a thick layer now that people are are um, killing themselves they are trying to get to the source that way mm -hmm. they're trying because they cannot be encapsulated okay so they've chosen to let go of their body to go back to source absolutely okay so how can we assist humanity we have in to breaking bring out of bring in the light. So how can we bring in the light when someone is encapsulated? What is the best way that we can do that? We have to reach each person. Mm -hmm. We have to do that by, well, prayer. prayer. We have to pray over people. We have to pray over the earth. We have to pray and we have to connect. So telepathy, we have to be able to connect to people, and we can only do that through meditation. Okay. We have to meditate more as a humanity to be able to reach the people who are encapsulated. So what would be a good prayer that, where we can set the intention? So I say, the source be given to all, connected to all. I pray that they would be released from all of the chains that binds them, releasing them with intention and love. Love has to surround them with the white light and love and keeping them encapsulated with love. Beautiful, beautiful. Love is the answer. Love is all the answer, that's it. So it seems that Janice has been in this loving place before. Absolutely. But she wasn't able to spend as much time as we probably could spend today in that place. Is it possible to take Janice now back to the place where she visited during her near-death experience and take more in. All right, so I'd like to ask for the soul, for permission for the soul to take Janice back to that place where she was getting so much information. Where would you like to go first?
The Crystal City. The Crystal City. Beautiful. So if you would, please describe what the city looks like. It has, it is so bright with all colors, colors that we don't even see here on earth. Mm. They're beautiful. So many jewels. Everything is made out of jewels. So bright, so healing. It is so healing. And it's beautiful. Bridges, buildings that float. It's a floating city. Mm -hmm. So let's go through the city and see if there's anybody else there. Jesus is there. Mm. There's so many there. Mm -hmm. So now that you're visiting this place, you can get more information, understand more, and have dialogue. What do they want to tell you today? They want to tell me that I am doing exactly what I've set out to do when I left there. That I am doing what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. That I need to... I don't know. We're just floating through the city. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's there. There's many people there. It's beautiful. It's full of warmth and love. People laughing. People are playing and singing. Does this city have a name? The City of Light. Mm -hmm. And in this City of Light, those that you see playing and singing, do they have a body on Earth or somewhere else? They have a body on many planets. Mm -hmm. So is this kind of like the city a way station? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what it is. Why do they come to this place? What do they get from this place? They get downloaded. Mm -hmm. Very good. It's, it's a place of download. Good. So let's see how it is that you get the downloads. Where do you go for these downloads? We go into the different stores. Mm. What's There's the different th stores there. there. What do you see? I see places that you go. That they're like homes mm. or like stores. Like um, We go in and we sit down with others like us. No, I just feel like there's something missing, no. Mm -hmm. I'm not being able to grasp it. So set your intention to know. What's missing? Information. Information. Mm -hmm. Why are you not able to grasp this information at this time? Because I've already been downloaded. Mm. There's no more information there for me. Okay. I have the information. So how is it that in the body of Janice, she is able to access this information? She can, she can access it in the evening. Mm -hmm. When she sleeps, she, she has this information. She has all the information that she needs. So this information that she has been downloaded, is it for her job in the spiritual realm? Yes. Okay, so it's not for the life of Janice? No. Okay, very good. So it's nothing that she needs to remember when she's awake. It's just no. for her job in the yes. spiritual realm. Very good. Exactly. Very good. So this place where you are right now, this store, is it any particular information that is given to you in this place? This place is where all healing takes place. Mm. This place is where she accesses to be able to 
help others, mm -hmm. which is what her job is. Okay. So that is the purpose that she came to earth is to heal others. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now she heals with her light. Does she heal with anything else with her voice or um, her service? What are, what are her, the ways in which she heals? She heals with all different ways. Mm -hmm. She heals with, with, she knows so much with herbs and with plants, medicine, mm -hmm. with food, with nutrition, with um, healing of mental illness. She's able to tap into someone's uh, mental and, and heal that way she she heals many ways many many ways and she does through through all the things that she's involved in whether it's working at her job she comes in contact with people that need healing mm -hmm. all the time okay so she does that also during the day in her life as Janice yeah she went to uh, she's she went to school um, when she so that she could have a nutritional certification mm -hmm. and she went to for a personal training uh, so she could help people in all ways mm -hmm. so on earth because you need to be able to do that on earth yes um, so she has done all of that she went to school for uh, counseling and she was a counselor and um, she helps heal people in many, many ways. Very good. Very good. So let's go back to the Crystal City. Are there any other stores in, or places in which she goes to? Let's find out. Let's take your soul through that city and see what else is there. There's a place that I go. It's, it's a room that all the people that I've ever been in touch with are in the same room. When how I want to visit, when I want to visit, room? oh, it's large. Mm -hmm. It's many, many stories high. There's so many coming through. So many that I've been in different lifetimes with. Mm-hmm. I like to go back there. So these souls, are they a soul group? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to just look around and see who are the ones that stand out the most. I see. You know, I have um, my sister she travels with me over lifetimes. She's always in that room. Mm -hmm. And as you look at each one of them, you'll be able to see the lifetimes in which you've used, you've worked together, lived together. You'll be able to get a glimpse of it. My husband. Mm -hmm. Many lifetimes. Many different places. Yes. Different planets. Mm -hmm. So take a moment and you'll be able to just see the different lifetimes. And if you wish, you could visit them with him. Which one stands out the most? We were Indians. Mm -hmm. We lived in the same tribe. Notice the roles that you played. He was my husband then. Mm -hmm. He was a warrior. Did you make any vows to each other? No, we would be together forever. Mm -hmm. Lifetime after lifetime. Yes. That's why we know. Mm -hmm. We stay together. We always stay together. 
Mm -hmm. We always find each other. So what is the reason for coming into this lifetime together? What Our light work together. Mm -hmm. We have light work. We travel at night together. Now it seems that in the daytime when Janice is thinking about her husband, it's not the same level of understanding in the spiritual realm that she has. Oh no, we are we are the same. Mm-hmm. We are on the same level. So what advice would you like to give Janice about this? About how to work with her husband in her life regarding the spiritual topics? You need to be more patient. Mm -hmm. And you need to be more kind and loving about it. And you need to know, Janice, that he travels with you at night. You guys do the work together. And he would never, ever, ever leave you. You guys have a journey together from here and many more lifetimes. Very good. Is there anything else that you need to know about that or that room? No. Okay, very good. So let's leave that room now and let's see where you go to next. What else is in that city? Energy healing, the healing place. Mm -hmm. What does that place look like? Oh, it's glowing. Oh, it's so glowing. It is so full of love and energy and oh, so enveloping. So healing. Does this glowing light have any particular color? Purple. Mm. What does the purple mean? Deep healing. Mm -hmm. So do you go to this place for healing? Yes. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens when you go there. I go there and I, I lay on the crystal stone. It's a crystal stone. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is a crystal. Yes. And it vibrates. And it vibrates so much healing energy through my etheric body. It cleanses any kind of snags or dark spots mm -hmm. that I pick up through healing others. Mm -hmm. So I want you to lie on that for a moment and just allow that crystal to heal you. What do you notice? Scan this body and see if there's any snags. No. Very good. When do you know that you are fully healed? I know that I'm fully healed when I... Every morning when I wake up. Ah, very nice. So you go to this place at very night. Yes. Very good. So is it that the soul does its job and then goes to the healing before it wakes up? Yes. Very good. Very good. It must, otherwise it it would bring that sickness into mm -hmm. into the three D life. Very good. Do you know if anybody else goes to that healing place when they oh. sleep? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most of us do. Okay. Most of us do go to that place, except the ones that are encapsulated. They don't have access. Mm. That's about the freeing, you know, the freeing of, of the souls. Yes. They can't access. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to access. We all have access, but it has been so so controlled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. So let's leave that healing place. What else is in that crystal city? Waterfalls. Mm. Tell me about those. 
Oh my gosh, there's waterfalls that have all different colors, all different colors of water. And then you go to the different colors of water for whatever you're feeling. It's like a music that comes out of them, like a vibration. And you go into the vibration and it helps cleanse you. It's a cleansing place. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. So how many of these waterfalls do you see? Hundreds. Mm. There's hundreds of different colors. There's so many more different colors in this crystal city than there is here on Earth. Yes. There are so many. I couldn't even describe them. Now on Earth, we have grass, we have trees. Is there anything like that in the crystal city or is it just crystal? Yeah, there's, there's different meadows. Mm -hmm. There's different places with trees and grass. Yes. Ponds. Mm -hmm. But they're so much brighter. They're so different. Yes. You know, it almost looks fake because it's so real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different colors. What do you notice that's different there that, that you see? Well, the difference most between Earth and there is that Earth is duller. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's deader. It's not as alive. Everything in the Crystal City is alive. Yes. Everything vibrates. So, um, you know, you can see the connections between the people and the plants. You can see the connections with, with the people touching the people. You can see, sometimes when I'm on Earth, I can see that. I can see the connections. I see the energy coming out of the plants touching the trees. I see the energy coming out of the, the grass touching the trees. I see the, the water energy touching the grass. I see the energy and it's relating, mm -hmm. but it's not relating at a relate at a rate that it is in the crystal city yes. in the crystal city it is busy it is it is ever flowing light that it is so alive and vibrant and that is part of what the they have done to the earth they have dulled the earth by the by the dark entity is mm -hmm. just dulling the earth slowing it down making it die so that's the purpose of doing that, to kill the off the earth. It is, yes. Mm -hmm. They're trying to kill off the earth and kill off the souls and kill off the plants. And, 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 and they're doing it with chemicals and with, with everything. They're doing it by blanketing the earth with chemicals and trying to kill the earth and Gaia. Mm -hmm. And she's screaming, screaming out and 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 reaching all of us to to do the work to release the the darkness that surrounds it mm -hmm. being that you are as a soul knowing things having been downloaded with more information was this a plan was it ever planned to be like this not by the light not by the light Mm -hmm. No, the darkness came in. I think that at some point that it was probably pre-planned, mm -hmm. all of this. Yes. But not by the light. Okay. So now, if you could see the light and the dark together, who has more control of the earth right now? The light. The light, very good. So we have been hearing about things that the earth is ascending, that people are ascending, that there's some sort of event coming. In this crystal city with these downloads, are you aware of what's going to happen to the earth? Yes. Can you tell me about that? Yes, absolutely. What's happening in the earth? Well, there's gonna be a big light that comes. Mm -hmm. And when the big light comes, it's going to bring out all the darkness but it's going to affect everything and everyone. It's going to send vibration throughout the earth. It's going to send vibration 
throughout the universe. There's going to be a, it's going to be like a blast. Mm -hmm. That's what's going to happen. It's a, it's like a blast. Um, most of us are bracing for it. Mm -hmm. Um, We're trying to get the others ready for it, but there's just some that they aren't, that aren't going to make it through. Mm -hmm. Now this light sounds a lot like the light that Janice was afraid of going into. Absolutely. That, that void. Is that the same thing? Yes, it is. Okay. So this light that's coming is actually love. Yes, it is. Okay. So how do we prepare ourselves with a blast of love? Individually? Mm-hmm. Yes, Individually, would... people need to go within themselves and tap into the creator. And the way they do that is through meditation. Mm-hmm. It isn't outside themselves. It's inside themselves. And they need, they need to meditate. Mm-hmm. Meditation is the key. What happens if you don't meditate and you're blasted by this? You blow apart. Your 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 body separates, and you go back to source. Hmm. Is any of that light reaching the earth now? Yes. Mm-hmm. It is. So, are the people feeling that light, or that that uh, vibration within their bodies now? Some people are. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of us that are sending out that. Um, trying to help that vibration pray over everyone Mm -hmm. and and send the vibration through trying to penetrate through the dark and getting through to their hearts Mm -hmm. and their soul and and you when you talk about blowing apart that's pretty that's pretty uh, big is the light coming in gradually, does that cause any discomfort in the body? It does. Can you tell me about that? It causes people to be antsy. Mm-hmm. It causes people to not understand what's going on inside them. They're not wondering why they're, they're, they're not feeling the same anymore. Something's very uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. They're, tr- they're doing lots of other things other than going within themselves. They're they're eating more, they're acting out more, they're, they're doing other things other than trying to go within um, and understand what's happening to them. So mm-hmm. they're reaching outward for something they need to be reaching inward for. Okay. So it seems to me that the body is actually restructuring, isn't it? Absolutely. Okay, when you say that it's changing, something is going on. Yes. So what kind of changes are happening in the body with this light? I think it's breaking down the darkness. Okay. It's vibrating at a rate that's, you know, breaking down the darkness. Just there's so many people that are stuck in the darkness Mm -hmm. and they're encapsulated so tightly that there is barely any light getting in. Mm -hmm. Those are the ones that I'm concerned about. Those are the ones that once the light hits them, that's the one that I'm worried about. Mm -hmm. There's many people right now living in a lot of fear. Yes. A lot of fear of getting sick, a lot of fear of dying. Uh, They shouldn't be afraid. Mm -hmm. There is no afraid of being, of dying. It's the most beautiful transition the most beautiful transition it's the transition back into source Mm -hmm. no one should be afraid of that but they make us afraid of it here on earth Mm -hmm. they make us be in fear of everything being in fear of our own selves being in fear of stepping into anything they keep us in fear yes so what what could you tell someone who is living in this fear who is listening to those that are guided by the archons. Let go. Don't listen. Don't listen what's going on in your head. 
-hmm. You must listen within. Don't be in fear because don't be afraid. It's we are being conditioned to be afraid. Yes. Do not be afraid. Well, we've been living like this for a year now in fear. Yes. And they've been talking about this blast of light for a long time now. Yes. Is it anywhere closer now? Yes. Mm hmm. Absolutely. It's around the corner. It's around the corner. So we need to really let go and start going within. Yes, absolutely. Very good. Very good. Absolutely. So what's going to happen after this blast? Is this going to change the earth? All the colors that are in the Crystal City, mm -hmm. they will be here on earth. Beautiful. It will transform the earth. It will become vibrant and alive again. That's what the goal of opening the portals and keeping the light flowing in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What That's about the, the goal? Yeah. Okay. What about the archons? What happens to them when this blast comes? They'll be gone. Mm. Does it transform these archons? Yeah, some it does. Some mm -hmm. won't. Okay. Yeah, because once they feel the light themselves and let it in, they'll be transformed. Very good. Very good. So let's see what else is in that crystal city that Denise needs to look at today. What else is there? There's a highway. A highway? Yeah. Mm -hmm. goes straight to source. <laughs> what does this highway look like? Oh, my gosh. It's beautiful. It's, it's every color that you could think of, and it goes straight up. Anytime you want to get energized by source, you just float right on up. Mm-hmm. That's right. And do you notice anyone going on that highway? Oh, yes. What do they look like? Children. Mm. Right now, there's lots of children. Tell me about that. Why so many children? Because, because there's a lot of children. There's something happening with children. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Hone in on that information. Ask one of the children. We are being guided, she said. Mm -hmm. We're being guided to the light right now. I said, why? Why so many? We're being called home, she said. Mm -hmm. They're being called home. The children are being called home. I don't know what's happening with these so many children right there. Mm -hmm. Did these children have a body on earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. What were the circumstances around these children that they had to be called home? They were held by the archons. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, I'm so sorry. How were they held by the archons? Oh, so many bad things. They were kept suppressed. Oh, they were kept in darkness. Oh my God. So many. Oh, that's sad. Is there a reason why they allowed 
this to happen in this lifetime? Were they learning anything from that, these children? No, they, I need to ask. Mm -hmm. Because usually a soul comes to earth for the evolution, for experience. Part of the releasing of the light, she said. Hmm. She said that they had to come because the breakthrough of the children releases the light more into the earth. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Who's telling you this? The little girl. Mm. So when they come to earth, it releases the light, their light? Them being suppressed mm -hmm. and being broke down the way that they were suppressed has brought light and now they're being released. Mm -hmm. And the light is being shed all over the earth now. They've been held in certain stances that, that are interesting. Mm -hmm. Children should be treated that way. Has this always been happening with these children, or is it now? For a long time, she said. Mm -hmm. For a long time. She said they've been kept underground and in different places, and that they're all being released now. Mm -hmm. Who's they're releasing being them? The portals being opened. Okay. The portals being opened is helping them release them but they found them now mm -hmm. so I don't know who has found you there is a group on earth there are people on earth that are releasing mm -hmm. and when these children are released are they alive or Some are, are alive, but they're dying. Okay. Most have passed already. Mm -hmm. But they're opening it up, and they can be released to go home. Wonderful. Somehow they've been able to keep their souls encapsulated so they couldn't go home. But they're being able to go home now. It's like a freeway. Mm -hmm. So many children... So their souls were trapped along with their bodies. Absolutely. Okay. So they were, even though the children died, their souls were not able to go back. That's right. They weren't able to reach source. Mm -hmm. And now they are. Oh, yes. Very good. So how is that affecting the earth, having all of these children's souls released? It's lighting up the earth. Mm. It's letting more light in now. Wonderful. It's the work. It's the work of the portal openers as well. There's many of those. There's different places on earth that there's people stationed. Mm -hmm. Good. Is there anything else that you see besides this freeway of souls? Look around. There's a large home. That's home. It's a large home. It's home for me. Mm hmm. What does home look like to you? It's beautiful. I'll be there soon. Is it a physical structure or is it crystal or? It's crystal. Mm-hmm. It's all crystal. It's got trees in the front. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. Kind of like in the woods, but all crystal. What's on the inside? Oh, all my favorite things. Mm. There's all my animals. It's all my animals. 
Connect with them. What do they tell you? They love me. Mm -hmm. All my animals from all my lifetimes. I've had so many. Mm -hmm. It's home. Do you visit this place when you're sleeping also? Yeah, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Look around. Yeah. Is there anything that you would like to take back to remind Janice about this home? I'd actually like to take all my animals back with me. Mm -hmm. They stay with me all the time anyway. Yes. Very good. Mm. So look around and see if there's anything else that you would like to see there. All my treasures. Mm -hmm. All my crystals that I save. Yes. All my different healing structures. I make healing structures, which are like healing wheels. Mm -hmm. I make them out of different crystals. I have a wall full of them. I come in and I pull them when I need to help someone. Whatever crystals I need, I just pull that structure. I just access that. Very good. Very good. So if you need to bring more information back for Janice, let's do that now. I'm bringing back the crystal structures. Wonderful. Wonderful. So as you do that, let's walk back to the city and see if there's anything else that you would like to visit. I'd like to go back and visit my family. All right, so let's go back to that library once again. Back to that place. Back where the book is. It's so good to see them. Mm-hmm. I love my family. So many people here I don't know, but yet know me. Yes. Ask them who they are. They're my ancestors. Mm-hmm. Watch over me here on Earth. Yes. But I know them, but I don't. It's beautiful. What advice do they give you? I need to just keep believing in myself. They said, keep doing what I'm doing mm -hmm. because I'm making a big difference and a huge dent in what's happening in the world and, what, and the change that's coming. Very good. Very good. And since all of your family is there, let's ask them why it is that Janice needed to go through the, her near-death experiences. What was that all about? They told So when Janice decided to come to Earth, she came as a beacon light. She was threatening to many. So many different experiences for her that showed her, kept trying to draw her back to who she really is. And then so many trying to pull her away. She needed to know who she really was. She started to get, she started to be waylaid. Mm -hmm. She started to go a way that was not 
that was not of what she needed to be. Her near-death experience has brought her back to center. Mm -hmm. Brought her back to what she was supposed to do here. Yes. Her second near-death experience was the most life-changing for her. And mm -hmm. she has done well with it. Mm -hmm. It has guided her through the times of life that most people would make it through. Mm -hmm. Now we know, that we, we know that we have free will on earth. Who was the one who chose to have that near-death experience? Was it her own soul? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, to bring her back. Yes. She needed to have that, and she chose that for the experience to bring her back to center. So it's helped her. Yes, tremendously. Mm -hmm. Would it help for others to know her story? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She needs her story to get out there. So but she going... feels so inhibited. Mm -hmm. Who's going to does... help her? Someone's going to come. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to come and someone's going to help her get Good. her story out there. Good. Good. So for those who are also going on the wrong path, do they need a near-death experience? Or does our soul guide us in different ways to get back on track? Well, our, goal, our soul guides us different ways to get on track, but mm -hmm. some people need a near-death experience. Okay. Good. So what is the reason why she needed this session today? Because it's almost like going through that near-death experience once again. She needed this for confirmation that she's on the right path. Mm -hmm. She needed to know that that she's doing exactly what she needs to be doing right now. She doesn't need to be doing anything more. She meditates every day. She works out every day. She eats right every day. She does keeps her vibration in a high place. She does exactly what she needs to be. She's pulling people up all the time. She's, even though it feels like such a lonely place for her and she wonders if she's, if she's doing the right thing and, and it's such a lonely place, but she is doing exactly what she needs to be. People are going to come. Mm -hmm. People are going to be surrounding her. They're going to want what she has. They're going to want to be able to plug into her because she is plugged into the light herself mm -hmm. and she spreads light wherever she goes good good is there anything else that you would like any other advice you would like to give her before you leave from that beautiful place she's very loved and she's not alone she's surrounded by each and every one she's ever known mm -hmm. every animal everyone even though it might not be in the physical she just reaches out and they're there for her her animals today surround her every one of them talks to her even the ones that are alive she talks to animals she has so much surrounding her but yet she feels so alone mm -hmm. she doesn't need to feel alone she's so filled with love and light for so many yes so uh, what advice do you give to those who are feeling so lonely on the spiritual path because it seems that we do work at night but during the day it's a lonely a lonely life plug in mm -hmm. you have to plug in you create we're creators here Mm -hmm. So therefore, we can create whatever we want. Things manifest right away. Mm -hmm. Very so good. those that, you know, are on the lonely path, like, like Denise, she, she, what she does is she, to keep the loneliness from, from being, you know, around her as much, she, she just creates. Mm -hmm. And she plugs in. Very and that's good. what I can give advice to others. Very good, very good. So 
Is there anything else, or do you feel that we are complete for today? I think we're complete for today. Okay, very good. So I'd like for you, Janice, to go ahead and give your parents, your nanny, a nice hug. Take a moment now. I love them. Go ahead and give them a big hug and feel their arms wrapped around you. And when you're finished, just give me a little nod. Very good. So I'd like for you now to disconnect from that place. Feel yourself coming back once again. Eyes. And away. Five wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. <sighs> Welcome back. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow, what a journey. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Did you expect that? No. Yeah. So how okay. was it for you? Oh, my gosh. That was mind-blowing. That was amazing. Oh, I got to visit back where I was. And more. I got to go back to my, um, and more. Absolutely. I went straight back there. To my near death experience at Crystal City is the most beautiful place you can ever visit. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank so, you. how did it feel to be with mom and dad and your nan, nanny? It, it was great. It was amazing. I, I'm just blown away. They had different really energy, didn't they? That, um... Didn't they have different yeah. energy? Yeah. Way different than here on Earth. Um, man, it's, but you know, sometimes I wonder if I feel them flowing around me and through me yeah. and that's what it felt like, like I know that they're around me. Exactly. And even more, cause you had your entire, all your ancestors that you don't even know who they are. Exactly. Exactly. It was amazing. That's great. Yeah, that's that's exactly. great. So out of all yeah. that experience, what, what, what seems to be the most impactful for you for this whole session? Do you remember? Yeah, I do. I remember that um, I'm exactly where I need to be. You know, I get worried that I'm not doing the jo job I'm, I've come back to do. And, um, you know, that's what I'm here for. That's why I came back. And I feel that I am doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I am doing opening the portals and, you know, I didn't even know about all that. I know about it now. <laughs> I didn't know that I was doing that work at all. I, I didn't know that. It, it's amazing you know, that we come here, we think we're this physical body and yet at night is when we do the biggest work. Yes, exactly. That's what's happening. Um, and I see how my real estate job, you think, oh, my gosh, I'm doing this, this earthly job and making earthly money and doing all this earthly stuff. But it's not like that. It's um, that job is connecting me to uh, work that I'm doing during the nighttime wow. to people and places and things. That's amazing. Um, That's amazing. Yeah. So I'm blown away. I'm yeah. It's 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 incredible how you, how the the event was was described to you this blast of love. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. But th this we're is what you were afraid. You were afraid of going into that. I know, I was, I was. Well, it's so enveloping. It's like I think part of it is once you go in, you don't want to come back. You don't right. want to come out of that. And I think that was kind of probably part of the, um, I think that was part of the fear, you know, that I remember last time when I came back and I had to go back into my cold body that was laying on that gurney. And, um, and I wondered after I did it, why I did that because that love was so enveloping. Mm -hmm. It was, nothing you'd ever feel here and I do get to that place when I'm in meditation I'm able to feel that you know that uh, mm -hmm. enveloping warm light um, 
That's why yeah. I like to meditate every day. I meditate. And so, um, wow. So Janice, is this something you want to share with others? I absolutely, absolutely. It was would, quite an experience. Yes. This crystal yeah, city. Would, yeah, I would totally, I would totally share that with others. So I, mean, I don't know what I look like, but I hope like... I look okay. You know what I mean? I don't you know. look great. You look right. great. So, okay. so being that we're going to share this with others, how did it feel like to be in hypnosis for you? Cause you do meditate a lot. So what did it feel like for you to be in hypnosis? Natural. It was very natural for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just felt, I'm glad that I, I can, it's, it's an easy journey for me. Yeah. I don't know how it is for others, but you know, you're really good at what you do. Um, and you brought me straight where I needed to be mm -hmm. in a very short amount of time. And I, you know, it, it was natural feeling for me. Wonderful. I knew what was going on around me. I knew what was happening. Um, but I was in a place that I, um, I was in the crystal city. That's, That's beautiful. where I was. That's beautiful. That's great. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is fantastic. This, this is this. It was a great journey for me, too, because it's, you know, you kind of like living it with with you. And Thank what you. blew me away was about the children. I can't believe that the children. I couldn't understand it. I remember I just remember yeah. all of a sudden the highway was opened up to source and all these children they're like i'm getting emotional right now because they were children that were in pain mm -hmm. and they are going to the source and they're so happy that they're going to the source and when i tried talking to them the, the experiences that they had experienced are mind-blowing mm -hmm. and i you know i can feel all that you know i can feel things and um I'm blown away right now. Like it's going to take me a while to process that because I don't know what, I mean, the only thing I can connect that to at all, mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot going on on the earth right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There's a lot of release happening on the earth right now. And yeah. um, I know there's a lot of children being released right now. And I didn't, I, I, I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand that their souls were trapped, trapped as well. Yeah. Because that's what they're doing to the people. They're trapping these people. Yeah. Do you feel that you opened up some sort of a portal? Absolutely. Absolutely. I did. That's amazing. I, I feel It's a blessing. Yeah, it is. You're blessed. Yeah. So you know you're doing great work. Yeah. I am. You're doing great work. And I'm thinking I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Most people think that. You know, when they're on the spiritual path, they think, oh, I'm not doing it enough. What was my purpose? And they don't realize that they're doing stuff at night. Yes. Yeah. Was well, I think that this is session. Yeah. Was the release for the children. Wow. That's what I think it was. That's amazing. I'm, I'm like overwhelmed. Wow. I feel that light right now throwing through my body. Like it's nonstop since I've woken up. I'm not left the light and um, it's the release of the children. Wow. It's the release of the children. So I know Janice that you told me during the interview that you do some work which has uh, spiritual uh, getting spiritual people together. Yes, I do. I, um, I actually have a Facebook page called NorCal Paradigm Shift. Um, it's a paradigm shift, Northern California. And because I'm in Northern California, very much 
very close to Shasta. Um, I'm in Lake County. Um, and so we have, um, and uh, there's a lot of people here in Northern California that are part of NorCal Paradigm Shift. And so you can find me there if you want to be able Good. to communicate with me. So I'm going to put it up here, um, your Facebook page, so they can yes. they can get a hold of you. So uh, this is you you actually meet in person, right? Or do you just meet online? Yeah, we we have meetups, we yeah. have meetups um, that we meet in person sometimes. But since COVID and all that, we've been just doing our online stuff. Perfect. So if it do, do they have to be in California? Could it be anywhere? Anywhere. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Terrific. So for those of you who are interested, always looking for a way to meet up with others who are on the same path, this is a great opportunity. Absolutely. So I'd like to tell everybody who's watching, if you want a session with me, go to albawyman.com, sign up for my mailing list. You'll get a newsletter. And this is how Janice got her session. Yes. Waiting patiently. How long, Janice? Five years. Five years. This was the right time yes. to have this session. So. Absolutely. So uh, I hope I get to meet you someday, either at a session or an event, a gathering, or even a yes. vibrational uh, frequency session. So thank yes. you for watching. Until the next time, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.